hanging on to the uh, guard path where I will be standing up. Uh, once you start training with more advanced opponents, you will notice that it may be difficult to pass the guard from a seated position. So now I'm going to show you how to do it from when we stand up. I'm going to take the same grips as we've seen before, so right hand, my dominant hand on the collar, and the other hand ideally controlling the sleeve. So I'll pin the sleeve onto the hip bone and secure the elbow inside my partner's thigh. From here I'll start standing up, posting one foot at a time on the floor. I will start with the foot that is on the side of the sleeve that I'm holding. Okay, so same side foot steps onto the floor and now I'm starting to raise my other foot onto the floor. Now be careful not to lean forwards too much, okay? My back is in straight position and my head in neutral alignment with the spine, so I'm not looking down like so. So I'm gonna stand up on the other foot. My back remains straight. Again, I have to repeat it quite a few times. Don't do this. As soon as she pulls me in grabbing the collar, I will go immediately down. So my posture is upright. And here, I maintain either the collar or the sleeve, really depending how far I got. I can keep the sleeve. And then with my free hand, I will start pushing the inside of the knee down. I can even do this movement here to release the grip. And then here we can initiate some of my, our favorite passes. So we've seen the knee pass uh, before, so we can do the same one with hooking underneath the neck, pushing the knee away, and releasing. Okay, so one more time. Got the lapel grip, hand on the sleeve. Starting with the same foot that's on the side of the sleeve that I'm controlling, one foot at a time, upright position. Now, sometimes what happens, we may lose this grip, okay? And that's okay. What I actually like to do, I like to change to the collar grip. But I'm not gonna be able to manage with the collar grip if my hand is really far away. So I like to get the lapel close to me. And then this way, I can really bring my elbow inside of her thigh, getting a nice upright posture. So now I can pass the other side. So again, I use this bouncing motion to bring her legs down. I'll lock the guard. So I can do the pass with posting the knee down, and underneath the neck, back step, releasing the hook and count into the side control. There's also a possibility to do this pass stepping both feet at the same time. You just have to be conscious that it has to be quick. So as I come here, maybe I won't get the sleeve grip. I can keep one hand onto the hip and one hand on the collar. From here, I'll be standing up simultaneously with both feet on the floor. So I'll lean forwards a little bit to get on my tippy toes, and then I'll just shoot over here. So again, depending if I have the sleeve grip or not, I may choose to switch to a lapel grip, and then start going for our favorite pass.